folks heading out. Cools off a little by 9 o'clock, 36 degrees, so uh, still above freezing at that point, partly cloudy skies. Overnight, we could see some areas of fog develop again through some parts of the viewing area, but for now, dry conditions all across our local area here on the radar this evening. Uh, this is the visible satellite picture. This is a loop over this afternoon. And the white you see here is actually the snowpack on the ground all through eastern Nebraska and western Iowa. You can see how it's thinner back to the west, the browns that's just bare ground, and then the clouds that have been moving by today. But not many clouds. We had lots of sunshine, and so that's really been working on that snowpack and melting it away. And kind of on the fringe of that snowpack in places like Norfolk and Columbus, that's where temperatures were really able to warm up today. In fact, Norfolk climbing to the 60s this afternoon. But here in the metro area, even we climbed into the 50s. We're now at 46, 48 in Lincoln. A wider picture of temperatures across the region. Uh, really, really warm temperatures back to our west. Right now, 63 degrees in Goodland, Kansas, 72 in Hayes, even in Nebraska, 64 for Scotts Bluff. They were in the 70s earlier today, and parts of northwest Kansas were in the 80s this afternoon. So if we didn't have snow on the ground here in the metro, I think we would be a lot warmer than even 50s, but we still got to get rid of that snow. 46 degrees, our current temperature at 8 at Epley. Winds are out of, well, they're calm right now. So out of the south, very light for later on tonight. Dew point right now at 34. Spoke with our weather watcher in Norfolk, Nebraska. Mike Johnson said a top 10 day for the winter time at least. For him there in Norfolk was 64 degrees for the high. And the almanac here in Omaha showing temperatures well above average. 53 degrees for a high. Average, of course, 36 for this time of year after a morning low of 27. Here's your hourly planner for tonight. Temperatures cooling off but pretty slowly. We fall back into the mid-30s by late tonight and lower 30s for the early morning hours. Do think that we could see some fog develop across parts of the area through early tomorrow morning, especially into western Iowa. Uh, that should start to lift for a time tomorrow morning, but there's a cool front that will push through the area. So that will switch our winds to the north overnight and early on Sunday morning. And it should also bring some more clouds for the afternoon hours, maybe even a sprinkle or two, although not expecting much in the way of a rain or snow chance with that front. Otherwise, some clouds building by late Sunday night into early Monday morning. And I think through much of the day, with just very light winds, we'll keep cloudy skies as colder air starts to build to the region. So by Monday, uh, we do feel a cool down, but at least for tomorrow, it still looks pretty mild uh, with that front just starting to move into the area. 36 degrees at 9 o'clock tonight, partly cloudy skies. Overnight, could see some areas of fog develop. 33 degrees for the low, 35 at 8 a.m. Just a slight chance of a sprinkle or shower, uh, mainly tomorrow afternoon, but maybe tomorrow morning. Uh, clouds on mix at 8 a.m. and maybe some peaks of clouds in the afternoon, or peaks of sun. 46 degrees for the high, so not quite as warm for tomorrow afternoon, but still pretty mild as temperatures still climb above average, and we will see that snowpack continue to melt. Colder, though, by Monday. Temperatures on Monday climbed to 35 for the high. We're back into the 40s on Tuesday, but then a stronger front moves in Tuesday night to Wednesday, that will drop temperatures, especially by Thursday, down into the 20s for high. So it's a cold uh, kind of end to the work week, although it looks okay by next Saturday. We're back up to 40. So really, the forecast is just some ups and downs.